honey, I made you breakfast. Fresh coffee and bagels too. Hello friends, happy Monday. Thank you for joining me. Today we are finishing off the kitchen. We will be decorating the upper kitchen cabinets, adding just some very slight, minimal fall touches. And then we're gonna add some kitchen rugs and then we're gonna do a kitchen tour. Let me tell you, it's a gloomy, gloomy morning. So I was hoping to have sunshine, and the bright airiness mixed with all the fall colors, but it is what it is. I hope that you will notice the cozy factor with the lighting I put in place and so forth. And then we will wrap it up with a kitchen fall tour. So without further ado, let's get into it. Okay, so this is what we're working with today. We're gonna be doing up there, up there, and then around the corner over there. The first thing I'm gonna start with is this huge bowl that I found at Ross. When I came across this, what I liked is that it looks old world. It looks a little weathered and aged, like it's been around. I shared these when I did my very first fall haul. And um, we're gonna place these in here strategically and just add a splash of fall up there on top of the cabinet. That's, that's it. So if you don't wanna do a lot to your upper kitchen cabinets because you've done perhaps more down below and you want it to just flow and look a little bit more minimal up there, this is a great way to do it. It's just a bowl with a splash of fall. Okay, now right there, let me show you what I'm gonna add. I'm going in with a rustic element, this really cute wood stool from Amazon. To that, I'm going to add a big glass vase. I'm not putting anything in it. I'm using it for two purposes, for a reflective property. I love the way glass looks when it shines. And then I'm going in with that fall color. Okay, moving up over here. Over there, I'm going in with yet another rustic element. You're really not gonna see this. This is just to elevate one of my vases. So now I'm going in with yet two more ambery colored brown vases for fall. Just to add a little reflective property and that beautiful autumn color. this on its side. I'm going to try to like bend these so they curve more with the cabinet. And now I'm going to go in with this pumpkin. So up here I added a black wire vase with a wood lid. I just sat it up there just to add a pop of black. And that'll do it for up there. You could fill it with some fall pumpkins, which I might do. I'm thinking about it. Okay, now up there I'm going in with this fern plant. Yet another pumpkin, this face with some baby's breath and done. Then all the rest are quite old fashioned where I had sometimes played chess. And when I'm out, I'm looking for that vintage flame. But all complexions that I adore, so hard to find, they seem impossible to score. So I dream of to some be find that vintage love. I kept on looking. Okay, I made one little 
tweak up on the top cabinet. I took down the black wire vase uh, with a wood lid. I just felt like it was too much. And so now it's just a pumpkin and the granary. But now I wanna add two rugs and I got these on Amazon. I just thought these would look beautiful for fall. I love the colors and the pattern, of course. Currently I have black and white padded um, floor mats. Love them, they're so comfortable on your feet. I've had them for years, can't say enough about them. I'll link them below for you guys. But instead of adding carpet padding underneath this, I'm just gonna put these over what I currently have because they're so comfy. And when I get tired of these, I can just go back to the black and white because you guys know I love adding black and white throughout my house. Um, so anyway, let's get these laid out and then we'll do a kitchen tour. First of all, this carpet runner is so soft. I'm anxious to go get it laid down. Currently, that is what I have. I'm going to take this and lay it on top of that. Okay, and I just did another one over here by the coffee bar. So no matter where you're walking in the kitchen, it ties together. By the way, friends, I totally forgot to share this with you guys. I got this canvas piece on Amazon. I thought it was so cute for fall. The white pumpkin and the greenery, and it's like black. It looks kind of distressed. It's hard to see with the light on, but it's so cute. Another thing I want to share with all of you are my new chandeliers. I will put a picture of what once used to be there, which were these glass chandeliers. And although I absolutely love the look of them, I like the openness, the airiness that it brought to the kitchen. I will tell you, when you cook, when you cook with cooking oils, they get dirty all the time. I found myself getting up on a step stool, cleaning them multiple times a week because I just don't like to see the glass looking dirty. So I thought this is for the birds. It's for the absolute birds. So we decided to go in with these beautiful black chandeliers. I got them all on Amazon and talk about an impact in the kitchen. It really, makes a statement piece. So I am a huge fan of these and I'll take you down, I'll show you what they look like. So my apologies for the lighting. Um, like I said, it's just a very gloomy day, but I love these, you guys, they're so pretty. <laughs> So when we found this house, one thing that sold us on it was the kitchen. Um, so you see that we've got the kitchen here and this whole space behind the stove is like an additional part of the kitchen. It's an extension of the kitchen behind the kitchen, um, which is really fun. And I'm gonna show you that soon. It turned out so cute. And I added one of those diagonal rugs in there and I just love walking by and seeing how cozy that room looks. Oh, and I also added, those lights um, that I've shared with you guys. So it totally transformed that room. We have lots of seating here. We have seating over here. We've got seating through that door. So, um, and in the family room. So no matter where you are, there's plenty of places to sit and be comfy. So without further ado, let me give you a kitchen fall tour.
Thank you all so much for stopping by. I really appreciate it. And thank you so much for all of your wonderful comments on my Friday video. Um, and I want you guys to know, for all of you that are suffering with joint pain, knee pain, health issues, your girl is praying for you. I literally went through every comment and prayed for all of us who are suffering. So I just want you guys to know that I'm a little prayer warrior. So you guys need prayers, I'm your girl. And thank you guys for your well wishes and prayers because I'm literally feeling so much better today. And I just wanna thank you guys. I really do from the bottom of my heart. All right, friends, I will see you guys in the next one. Mwah. Bye guys. Bye.